then I just want to talk to you really quick about a question that I get so often is how, how can I be a coach? I haven't hit my weight loss goals. I'm not certified. I'm not qualified. I don't have a college degree. I'm not a nurse. I'm not certified to be a health coach. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Anybody can be a coach. That is the blessing about coaching is that you don't have to be certified, you don't have to be qualified. You just have to have a heart to help others. You have to have a heart to help others, to help them reach their goals, and that is it. We have moms, teachers, physicians assistants, midwives, military wives, corporate America, physical therapists, soccer coaches, cheerleading coaches, um, I said teachers already, I said nurses. We have so many healthcare professionals, lots of teachers, lots of moms, military, active military, veterans, pastor's wives, you name it, we have it on our team. And I love that. I love that we have diversity. I love that we have all different shapes, sizes, personalities, uh, everything is different in each one of the women on our team. And it's meant to be that way. We're all supposed to be a different puzzle piece to the puzzle, to the masterpiece. And that's because each one of us has a different story. Each one of us each one of us has a different story that will connect with someone else. So anybody can be a coach. Anybody can be a coach. You don't have to be me. You don't have to be one of the other coaches on the team. You be you. You be you because you know what? Maybe you haven't reached your weight loss goal. Maybe you haven't lost your 40 pounds, but I guarantee you that you can inspire someone else to lose 40 pounds if you're doing it with them. I guarantee you. I know for me, if I'm struggling to find my balance and getting healthy with my anxiety, I know that if I'm sharing that journey when I'm in the midst of the storm, I'm going to inspire people to overcome their anxiety too. That's the blessing is that being a coach is you. It's all it takes is you. You are the story. You are the reason. You are the brand behind all of it. That's what makes you an incredible coach is you. Not your resume of the things you've accomplished. It's you being who you are and staying true to who you are. That's it. So what are the different um, what are the different roles as a coach? Let's go into that. We've talked about who can be a coach. Anybody can be a coach. Anybody can be a coach, but who can be, a, not, we went into who can be a coach, but what is the role? What is the role? What are the expectations? So your role as a coach, it's so easy. It is so easy. Your goal, your role, bottom line is one is to lead by example, lead by example every single day, exercising, eating right, the way you live your life, your joy, your peace. It's living the lifestyle. It's being an example, leading by example, because actions speak louder than words. The second is to encourage others. It is our role. It is our job. A coach, you know what a coach is? A coach is someone that encourages and uplift, uplifts others. That's what you do. So you encourage others through posting on social media. You encourage through talking to them when you see them in person. Encouraging them is one of your roles. The next role is to educate your team and your challengers. Eventually, as you grow to be a coach that is more self-sufficient, uh, you will run challenge groups to help people reach your health and fitness goals. You will have a team that you will learn to educate them, okay? The last role is for you to grow personally. You can never stop growing, ever, as a coach, because for you to be the best woman, wife, mom that you were called to be, it means you gotta make sure you take time for you. If you wanna be the best coach for your challengers, the best leader for your team, you gotta take time for you. You gotta pick up a book, you gotta read it. You gotta take time to unplug, to be less stressed out. You have to go push play and do your workout. You gotta drink your shakes, you gotta meal prep. Okay, that's what helps you lead by example, encourage others, and educate them, is when you take time for you to grow so that you can become your best. That's the roles. So you know that anybody can be a coach. So throw that fear out the window because you can be a coach. What is your role as a coach? 
That's so easy. You're most likely already doing it. You're probably already encouraging. You're probably already leading by example. And now you're just going to start educating and you're just going to make more time for you. That is it. That is it. So what are my expectations? What are my expectations of a coach on our team? Family first. I always want you to have your family first. I want you to have the heart to help others, the heart every single day to lead with helping others. Give to give, not give to receive. We're here to give back. We're here to give life, pay it forward of health and joy and freedom, okay? I want you to be driven. I am the upline diamond coach for this team. And if you're not my coach, you have another coach. We're here to help you every step of the way. Your success is our success, but this is your business. You have to take ownership of your business and you have to be committed to showing up every day and being present and doing what it needs to take to be a successful coach and to help others. I want you to be loyal. I want you to be supportive. I want you to be respectful, okay? Those are just some care tricks that I, I love. I want you to be real. I want you to, you to be flaws and all. Put it all out there because that's what inspires. And I know that each one of you that are listening to this, I'm pretty sure you have all of those characteristics. So what do I expect? What do I expect out of the coaches that join our team? Well, the first thing I expect is I expect you to use the products. Use the products. Drink the shakes and do the programs, right? You have to be the product. You have to share what you're doing. You have to share that the shakes are the best shake in the entire world because it has 75 superfoods and antioxidants in it and it will forever change your life. And it helps you stop craving all that crazy food, right? So, and you gotta do the workouts. How do people know? How do people know if the, if the programs work if you're not doing them? You have to be proof the product works. Next is you have to, you have to, do the new coach training. You gotta do the new coach training. You can do the new coach training that I provide, that your coach provides. You can go into the Coach Online office and do the get started coach training, coach training basics, and the Coach Online office, but you wanna do the training. Obviously, I can't make you do it, but if you wanna be a successful coach, if you wanna help as many people that you can help, do the new coach training. It's gonna set you up for success. It's gonna help you learn how to share and to be bold and how to connect with people and how to grow your business from the inside out because we're not salespeople. We're coaches. We're here to help people, right? Okay. The next is, so be the product, drink the shakes, do the workout program. Next is to finish your new coach training. The third one, what do you think it is? Be present, show up with the team, plug in with the team. We have team calls. I have one team call once a month that is open for the entire team. Then there's other calls throughout the month that are open for the entire team to get on. Show up on the team calls, get on the national wake up call, get on the other team calls provided by other teams. This is your opportunity to grow, to invest back into you so that you can invest back to others, okay? And the last is be coachable. You are blessed with an incredible, incredible team here. And we are here to help you every single step of the way. So that means be coachable. If you're struggling, let us help you, teach you how to get better. And be okay with that. Because let me tell you, every single day I am learning from my upline coaches, from my mentors, from my success partners, how to be a better woman, better wife, better mom, but also how, more importantly, to be a better coach for all of you. So please be coachable. And that is it. Pretty easy, right? So we already know that you can be a coach. We already know that your role is to educate, to inspire, to lead by example, to work on yourself. You can do that, right? Keep family first, be driven, show up, be respectful, be loyal. Go all in, be a go-getter, drink the shakes, do the workouts, do the trainings, show up, that's easy, be coachable, and plug into our incredible sisterhood. And that is all it takes to be a coach. Super easy. See, right? That's it. So that is it. If you guys have questions about who can be a coach, what are the roles as a coach, what are the expectations, comment below because I would love to help you feel more confident in your abilities 
and know that you can do this because we are in it together to help you every single step of the way. And that's it. Have a fabulous day and can't wait to see what some of you say below. And I cannot wait to see who here says yes on day three. Love you all.